Every jigsaw I build, well, yeah, there's always a plan. It always begins with the edge pieces. Set the boundary. Set, you know, this is where I want to end up. I want it finished. So I set my boundary first and then I work in. And depending on the picture, I decide where I'm going next. Every jigsaw, while the goal is the same, I want to build a jigsaw. The way of building the jigsaw, the method I use or how I'm going to go about it differs depending on the jigsaw, the picture, the colors in the jigsaw and how I can easily go step by step. You see, I want to finish the jigsaw. I want it to be achievable and doable as quickly as possible, believe it or not. That's my challenge I set myself. So I look to see how can I do this easily, no stress and effectively. And that's what I look for then. Okay, these colors here, I can put them in, I can put them together, I can look for these colors, sort them out of the box, and then go on from there. How do you build a jigsaw? Or more importantly, how do you approach your goals? Where do you start and how do you continue? What prevents you from achieving your goals, especially your personal goals? Because quite often we can manage to get our professional goals sometimes just about, and not get our personal goals or vice versa. We're really good at meeting our personal goals, but don't believe in ourselves enough to put ourselves out there and meet the professional goals, especially if we're self-employed. It's really important that you realize that the goal, the goal needs to stay the same. When you set yourself a goal and it's something you want to get to, that's your dream, that's your goal, that's what you're setting out to do, that needs to stay there. But the plan just like building a jigsaw, the plan can change all the time. So take your time, mind yourself, mind your mind, and be very aware and reflect. That's another important thing, the, the ability to reflect on what you're doing, how you're doing it as you go along. So whether you're building jigsaws or meeting goals, personal, professional, Sit down for a second, set out where it is you want to get to, and then what are the steps that are going to help you get there? And can those steps, those goals be broken down further again? Write down to very achievable piece by piece statements or actions that you need to take, things that you need to think or actions that you need to take. I think you need both. You need to believe that you can do it. And when you break it down to really small bite-sized goals, bite-sized steps that you can take, mini goals maybe even, it's doable. And when it's doable, your whole attitude changes. When you think you can do it, you can do it. When you believe you can do it, you can do it. So set yourself up for success. What's that goal? And then sit back. How am I going to get to that goal? What are the steps I'm going to take? And I guarantee you, you will get to your goal. And if you're struggling, if you can't change those negative thoughts, if you're really, you know, you always fail, no matter how, what way you look at it, what way you try to do it, you know, you've been to many courses, it just hasn't worked. You just can't change those thoughts automatically yourself. Come and use tapping with me, especially two meridian tapping. It works really well. And I have a process that I use with it. It's not just the tapping. I lead you through step by step. There's a whole thing of process of resolution, going back and changing those, those thoughts that need change from the past. Because those thoughts are creating the vibration that's attracting more of the same, whether it's failure or success or mixture of both or not happening. And those thoughts can be retuned. And once they're retuned, you can totally retune your whole life and transform everything. Trust me on that. Look forward to hearing from you. Please let me know how you get on with plans, how you build jigsaws, how does it work? Do you have a plan? Plans work. Is it Brian Tracy said, or somebody else, if you fail to plan, well, then you're planning for failure. If you fail to plan, you're planning for failure. Whoever said it, I think they're right. Thanks for watching. Please share this video and respond to it. Let me know what you think. Thank you. Bye.